Welcome to day three of content repurposing tutorials where I'm sharing 30 days worth of time saving content ideas for you busy creators out there. Today, I'm going to show you how to add text over video in CapCut and in Instagram. For those of you who might be joining us for the first time, I encourage you all to make a repurposing folder inside of your phone. If you're unfamiliar with how to do that, you can go and check out the intro video where I walk you through that step by step. This is a folder where we're going to have all of our information that we can just grab and go to repurpose. So I've already chosen my video, which is here. And the next thing I'm going to do is head right on over to CapCut where the video is already there for me. So like I said, this video is where we're just going to add text over the video. So I am going to mute this video here because I don't need the sound. And I just found this pretty cool. I'm showing off just a little rig that I made. So I'm going to take probably about maybe 10 seconds of this and I am going to split it by tapping on the video, press split, and I decided I don't want to use the rest of it here. Make this a, a very quick wheel. It can even be like seven seconds as well. So I've muted the audio here and literally what I'm going to do now is add some text over it and post this as just an encouraging way for people to be able to create more content. We're going to deselect the video right now and just head on over to text and let's look at some of the options that we have. So we have add text, we can add some stickers, there's auto captions, which we won't need at the moment because there's no voiceover and there's no words on there. Text will pick up any speech and transcribe that for you should you need it, but we don't need it for right now. There are text templates, there are auto lyrics, and there is draw. So what we're gonna do is we are going to press add text and I'm just gonna add a quick phrase in here. Be sure to use the quit you already have. Now we can just add a style. There's plenty of different looks that you can tap on to see what you like best. I'm gonna keep this one nice and simple, but you can further customize it with the stroke, the glow, background, curve shadows, all that great stuff. A cool thing I'm gonna do here is you all have heard those automated voices that talk over your videos for you reading the text. We are going to do that by adding text to speech. And what we can do is we can listen to all of the different voices. Be sure to use the equipment you already have. Be sure to use the equipment you already have. Be sure to use the equipment you already have. All right, and so you can choose that and add a voice to the text that you have. We're gonna use Jessie because I know everybody knows Jessie. You press her name Be and then you press the check mark and now you have that here. So. Be sure to use the equipment you already have. Okay, great. So I have this here and what I can do to further customize it is since I'm telling people to use the equipment they already have, I can just make a quick list here of what is in my hand. Say I have an L bracket, I have a V rig mount and I have the Rode Wireless Go 2 with my G7X. So just to give people an idea of the different types of content that you can do and sharing information with other people. I'll go ahead and do that really quick for you all. Now that I have the information on screen, I decided to make it even shorter so that I have the opportunity for people to watch the reel again and for me to be able to get a couple more views from people reading the information. I decided against putting the speech to text on the second part because the pronunciation might be a little bit weird. So we're just going to go with people being able to read it on screen. A few different options that you have here as well is being able to animate the text should you choose to. So you can click on the actual text and then you should be able to choose a animation and if you want it to animate in and animate out you also have those things so certain things will be pro but the free one has plenty so you have the opportunity here to scroll through to see which type of animations that you like i'm going to choose this typewriter one right here and we can just see that another thing that you can do to make this even more engaging is adding a sound effect so after you found your animation you can go ahead and look in the sounds to see if you can find an effect so i used the typing one so let's go over to audio effects and we're going to put typing in to see if we can find something that's typing. Take a listen to it. Excellent. And we'll go ahead and press the plus button to add it onto our timeline. And we can make it shorter since our video ends right here. Click on here, press split. And then we're going to delete that second half. So we have this here. Be sure to use the equipment you already have. Okay, so what, make sure when the animation ends, that's when your sound can end. So it ends about right here. So I can click on it, press split, and delete. So it doesn't look super bad. 
Okay, so now that we have that done, you can add music from right inside of CapCut should you choose to export it and put it inside of Instagram or you can export it without music and then upload to Instagram and use any trending sounds and things like that that you find over there. The choice is yours. So now we're going to head on over to Instagram and do something very similar with this inside of the Instagram platform. So now we're here in Instagram and we're going to tap Reels and then I'm going to tap Recent and I'm going to slide all the way over to my repurpose folder where I know I have all of that information that I want to tap on here. We're going to find that same video that I was just using. Click it right here and you can press next. I just want to show you all my makeshift. Rig. Now I'm going to, I want to have a light set up. Make it shorter. About that seven second mark that we had before. Even if it's a little over, no big deal. Here's how I you can show you all my makeshift. Volume. Control. I set up today because I didn't want to get and mute it. Okay. And you press done. And now we know that that is muted. And simple way to add text into Instagram is you literally press the text button and we can just say, remember, sometimes I cheat and I like to speak because typing can be a lot. So I'll do this here. Remember to use the equipment you have. This is also a hack for people who struggle with spelling like I do. So I have that here. And what we have is Instagram has opened up a lot more opportunities for us to use different fonts and text. So you scroll through and see which one you like. I really like that one, but I'll show you some more and then we will settle on it and keep it moving. So some of the ways you can customize further is you can press this here, but then also you have opportunity to press the A with the stars and see that made it highlighted. That gave a bit of a background to it and you can click through and just see all of the other types of ways that you can customize it further. So we're just going to stick with this simple highlighted version, but you can continue to play around with that there. All right. Not everybody has a speech to text feature inside of Instagram. I don't because I live outside of the U.S. at the moment. And so I just won't use it. I also have this here where it will make it do some type of animation. This is also a typing animation, which is great. Other options we have is to click on this right here and we can make it shorter. So we see that we have it at two, three seconds. We can make it shorter and add some different animation. So I've made that shorter. And what I can do right here inside of the editor is add more text. So I can say, I have the, I can type in the equipment that I have here. I'm gonna find a different text for this one. We could change the size here, press done. But what we'll need to do is shorten this so it doesn't overlap. And then we can move it around. We can also click back in here, press it and press that background so it stands out a little bit more. And there you have it. What we can also do here is add sound effects from right inside of Instagram. So what we'll do is we'll press this little music icon right here and we're going to slide over to sound effects. And when you press that, we can look at some of the things here. It's not super vast like other uh, options that we have, but you can look at little things that you can put there as well. What you have to do for these sound effects is listen where you want them and then in time with the video, you're going to have to press the button. So for what I'm saying is you have to press play, listen and add it at that particular time. So the punch sound comes in as soon as the text is coming in. All right, and I was a little bit late. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this button here and I'm gonna just press the punch sound from now so it immediately comes in. And then I can scroll over. When my second text comes in, I'm gonna press whoosh. So let's give it a listen. You can play around with that more if you like, but also make sure that you go to controls and you just turn it down just a little bit because sometimes it can be a little overpowering. Okay. And then press done. We can also add some music. Should we choose to, I'll go ahead and add a little bit of music here. You can look and see what you like, or if you have anything saved, let's give this a listen. All right, we'll go with that. Sounds pretty good. I'll press done. Now we have text on our videos and a few different sound effects along with music. And all we have to do next is press next. 
add a description and post it. What type of text will you be adding to your videos? Let me know in the comments below. If you don't already have your copy of the content repurposing calendar and journal, you can grab that in the description and be sure to join me tomorrow for day four, where I'm going to show you how to repurpose with green screen.